So your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? Devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and your quality of life in the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And with the Coochie River, Alcohol River, the Lapahoochee, all of them to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I, my, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We for the next four quarters and I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. Which people look at. Mm -hmm. One of the things we talked about initially was, you know, you have some joint money and utilize it, to, everybody's cool with utilizing our public information officer to do that. <coughs> so we got back into that from last year. That was one of our goals to try to get some central marketing uh, uh, for our region on that eco tourism. I think that's a great idea. It's just showing, you know, we're working together trying to get the problem solved. So marketing, one of the things I did talk about with DMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. That we were very willing to speak to that as well. It's so just another option that we may have to do exactly what we're talking about. And you know, to this event happened, we have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how to improve the quality of life of the river. It's, it's a market, market advantage. You have to make sure that you've got to I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority, but again, the same way you are. Do it. And see what comes up. So I think it's your major market advantage down there, especially in the depressed areas. Like you've got water, and I think you've got lots of land, and I think you've got freedom. So two state parks and one private park. I think you also have a beautiful plantation down there. I think you've got a lot of market. I think it would be very attractive to like from the city to the boat. And we have Blue Springs at the Hamilton County, Swan and Madison County, that's probably at one time one of the most visited. Deep uh, water, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Mango, uh, uh, magnitude yeah. Springs and visits from all over the world. You know, there and now you don't see that. I, I have one more quick question. How many um, commissioners do you have in the city? Or, well, no. are they all city commissioners, city councilmen? How many yeah. are there? Yeah, seven council. Okay, so how many are here tonight? One left. Are you one? And you're one. So we have four. My question is, I realize for one thing it's a church night. And some people do have other obligations on Wednesday nights. But considering that now at this point in the meeting we have three out of seven left here. My question is, are the commissioners, are you taking it seriously? Are, are you are you concerned and you you realize because you do deal with your constituents whenever there's a problem so you can imagine me dealing with the ones in my district as this comes down and that's why i was just asking you because of the lack of attendance here maybe they just had other commitments and could not make it it's been scheduled for a long time i can I'm, promise you that we're going to get started and just live for the 
And yes, and I realize Wednesday night meetings are, are difficult because of that reason. And really, in that case, you're putting the right thing first. I will say that. But I, I was just wondering. Thank you. It pains us all, I promise you. I have an ecotourism point. John, you're going to be our last, okay? It's related to the panel on January 18th. Well, yes, we need to do a lot of marketing, everybody, about things across both sides of the state line. And I'd like to thank the city of Valdosta for its support on the thing we're trying to do, which is the Troopville River Camp, which is a great ecotourism thing across the state line. But in order to counter the widespread perception and Google uh, search problem, we need data on which to base that. We need to know when the rivers are clean. And while everybody's here tonight because of all the wastewater, that's not the only thing that gets into the river. So the only way to know that the rivers are clean is frequent, regular, closely spaced testing. Yet the city of Valdosta wanted to make a real good gesture that from uh, compared to one sewer line would not cost much. The city of Valdosta could start doing some testing <coughs> downstream at additional places and do it on a weekly basis. That's my suggestion. John, what time do you want to start on the evening? Uh, meet at 9, travel at 10. Truth no book round. You've got yes, a question behind sure. you, by the way. Alright, last question for the Have you all had any visit by the federal EPA Department of EPA Environmental Protection Agency? Has there been any contact at the federal level about this particular spell? No. Not much well. No, they don't contact us. They've, uh, they've been working through EPD. Have they, have they been working through EPD as far as you know? As far as I know, they have been working through EPD. And the answer to that question is yes. And some of those have been implemented uh, as a well. right. Again, the January 18th panel will start at 10. Correct? Get there at 9, please, so we'll be ready at 10. Yes, we'll do a shuttle. John, John has uh, said that uh, there is a fee for members, it is. Uh, for non-members, it's ten dollars. For members, it's nothing. If you're an elected official, you get in free. <laughs> 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 I think our members are required to tell you.